Hi, this is Pastor Ted Marshall. Welcome again to Veterans Radio Ministry Devotionals. And, of course, our devotionals are based on the Daily Bread, which is published uh, for three-month periods all year. And this is a picture of the Daily Bread. And uh, you get a chance, you can get these at your church, or you can go to dailybread.com and be able to ourdailybread.org, and you'll be able to... Uh, get some more information. These are wonderful, wonderful uh, guides for a Bible study. Each day um, I do read devotionals, and I and what I try to do is when I say something I, I kind of like, uh, something I want to share with you or I want to find out more information about, I put a tab over it. And as you see, <laughs> this one's got a lot of tabs on it. This is one that I recently just com completed, and I try to get ahead of them a little bit, and uh, it, it's some awesome things that we're able to see. Now, today is, uh, we're going to be studying also in Romans 12, 1 through 8. So get your Bible. You can follow along with me there. And, you know, it's been a long time since I've done a disclaimer, and I'm going to do that again. Um, just like you see when they advertise something on television, half the commercial is for the um, product, the other half is a disclaimer. Um I'm dyslexic, so sometimes when I read things, I'll mess things up. Sometimes even when I speak, I might mix, mess up words, or I know I can do it with numbers very easily. But God's given me a, um, a path that it seems that when I'm, when I'm preaching his word or when I'm speaking his word, it kind of makes it come out clearer. Every now and then I'll, I'll mess up just to let me know that he's still watching over me and for me not to... Uh, um, think that I'm doing this on my own because I really know that I'm not. The Holy Spirit dwells in us and we are just so uh, awed by what he's done in our life. For somebody like myself to become dis that uh, has this uh, disability, to be able to have a radio show, a television show, and a radio network that reaches around the world and not be tongue-tied all the time is truly a blessing. And I know that uh, I know that the Lord's with us. We're going to be talking about. And first of all, we're going to be talking about mimic Jesus, is what we're going to be talking about. And this uh, devotional was made uh, in July fifth of this year, and it's uh, on. And the author, Circle uh, Dixon. And let's go ahead and we'll start, first of all, with the Bible verses. Go ahead and follow me, if you would, in Romans 12, 1 through 8. Romans 12, 1 through 8. Go ahead. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God, this is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is and his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourselves more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourselves with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith he has given you. Just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function. So in Christ we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all of the others. We have diff different gifts, according to the grace given us. If a man's gift is prophecy, let him use it in proportion to his faith. If it's serving, let him serve. If it's teaching, let him teach. If it's encouraging, let him encourage. If it's contributing to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it's leadership, let him govern diligently if it's the showing if, if it's the showing of mercy let him do it cheerfully you know as a scuba diver and a scuba instructor my wife and i have 
had the chance to dive all over the, in many beautiful dive sites. Living here in Florida, we have a lot of beautiful places that we've gone scuba diving and taking our students through the years. And one of the things that we've found is pretty interesting is an octopus. Now, there's a certain breed of octopus that's usually in the barrier, Great Barrier Reef, and also in it's something that is kind of unique. It's called the Mimic Octopus. Now, we're going to show some pictures of the Mimic Octopus. We're going to talk about them a little, a little bit also. A master of disguise. He lives in the waters off of Indonesia, as in the Great Barrier Reef. The Mimic Octopus. Like other octopuses, can change its skin pigment to blend in with its surroundings. This intelligent creature also changes its shape, movement patterns, and behavior when threatened, when threatened to mimic such creatures such as a venomous lionfish or even a deadly sea snake. Unlike the mimic octopus, believers in Jesus are meant to stand out in the world that surrounds us. We may feel threatened by those who disagree with us, become tempted to blend in so we won't be recognized as followers of Christ. The Apostle Paul, however, urges us to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, representing Jesus in every aspect of our lives. Friends or family members may try to pressure us to conform to the pattern of this world, but we can show who we serve by aligning our lives with what we say and we believe in God's children. When we obey the scriptures and reflect his loving character, our lives can demonstrate that the rewards of obedience are always greater than any loss. How will you mimic Jesus today? When have you been tempted to become a, a, a recognizable behavior in Jesus? Excuse me, unrecognizable believer in Jesus. When have you become alienated from family members or friends because you chose to represent Jesus through your words and actions. We need to stand out. We need to stand, we need to stand on our own. We need to go boldly into this world and profess our love of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Loving Jesus, please give me the courage and confidence to reflect you to others. And as we go through, Lord, have us stand clear that people can see that there is something different about us than what the world has. That we stand alone, not, as, not to be apart, but to bring people to us to know the truth. Not to stand alone as someone to, uh, to be to put everybody off and to keep away from, but to invite people to us. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for being able to share the word. And we thank you, Lord, for your wonderful, wonderful spirit and the teachings of our, our, our Bible. And thank you each day for the blessings that you bring to us. This is Pastor Ted Marshall. I want to thank you for listening to VRM, Veterans Radio Ministry. And know that Veterans Radio Ministry is a nonprofit organization. Nobody here gets paid. We're all volunteers, just like in the military, we volunteer. And this is a very special ministry. It's a ministry at Trinity Church in Wesley Chapel, Florida. And we broadcast here from our broadcast studio T at Trinity Church. We also have uh, some backup studios that we use just in case. But we want to thank you again for listening to VRM. Remember, VRM is also, you can see this broadcast, and you can see other broadcasts on our Facebook channel, on Rumble, on YouTube. Also, you can hear our radio broadcasts on Roku and Apple TV. And also, you can go to our website, veteransradioministry.com. And we have something kind of neat also. If you go to your app store and download Live 365 and put in VRM, uh, you'll get to be able to listen to our Veterans Radio Ministry wherever you go. Kind of cool. Thanks again for listening to VRM, Veterans Radio Ministry. This is Pe Pastor Ted Marshall along with Drew Sinclair, our directing producer. And thanks again. And God bless and have a great, awesome day.